Most crypto bridges work okay. They're fast and they're cheap, and that's why people use them. But are they actually secure? Well, it seems like nobody cares, because safety is boring and doesn't actually get headlines until the hack happens. Then it's headline after headline, and billions lost again with more PR damage to Web3. Why does this keep happening? Because under the hood, most crypto bridges still run on trusted shortcuts. Things like relayers, oracles, and validator committees. You're handing over your assets, hoping these centralized shortcuts don't drop the ball. In Polkadot, bridging is different. Here, safe bridging has been a given for years. But safety doesn't make for clickbait headlines. Most of the risk is actually what's been engineered out. And Hyperbridge brings that boring safety to non-Polkadot chains like Ethereum, Arbitrum Base, BNB, and more. And there are no separate middlemen committees involved. Proofs are checked by decentralized Polkadot validators, backing every transfer with the full security of the relay chain itself. No relayer cartels, no little trusted group in the middle. The safety and security is literally enforced at the protocol layer. At scale, the shortcuts that other bridges take just don't hold up. But with Hyperbridge, the bridging is enforced at the root layer and feels almost boring, like math, like bridging is supposed to feel. You should be able to click and your assets just arrive. No drama, no excitement. Hyperbridge is finally giving everyone what they want. A hypersafe bridge you never need to worry about. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next week's tutorial on how to use Hyperbridge.